There's a word that's frequently used when we talk about hydraulics. The word is head. Upstream head, downstream head, pumping head. What does the word head mean? But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Marcus. I am a retired professor of hydraulics. Now I am a consultant engineer of many companies that deal with hydraulics applied to sanitation works. Before we talk about head, let's talk about energy. Here is a water particle. Its volume is V. If its density is rho, then its mass is rho V, and its weight is rho GV. Or we can write that its weight is gamma V. Just to remember, rho is what we call density, which is equal to mass divided by volume. And gamma is what we call specific weight, which is equal to weight divided by volume. Of course, gamma is equal to rho g. If we release the water particle, it will go down and convert the potential energy that it had before into kinetic energy. So, the water particle will have two forms of energy. Potential energy, that we will call elevation potential energy, and kinetic energy. We know from physics that its value is mv squared over 2. Now, let's imagine that the particle is submerged in water. There is a column of water with f equal to h. It is obvious that it will make the particle have a third form of energy related to the pressure above it. If you aren't sure about it, try to make a hole in the vessel. The particle will exit with some velocity that will increase with the depth. So, let's write that there is a third form of energy that we will call pressure potential energy. Also, from physics we know that pressure equals gamma H, so H equals P over gamma. Let's write it down. Here are the three forms of energy that a water particle can have. The elevation potential energy, the pressure potential energy, and the kinetic energy. Here is the total energy. It's the sum of those three forms. Let's put it here, at the top of the page. Now, we divide all the terms by mg, which is the weight w. The energy divided by the weight is what we call a head. So, this is the total head of the water particle. Z is the elevation head, P over gamma is the pressure head, and V squared over 2G is the velocity head. Here it is, total head and each one of its components. When we deal with flows inside conduits, each particle in a section has its own velocity. We define the average velocity U as the value obtained when we divide the flow by the area of the section. When we approximate our calculations by using the average velocity instead of the velocity of each individual particle, there will be an approximation error. To account for it, a factor alpha appears in the formula. It's called the Coriolis coefficient. But in practice, it is very close to 1. So, we dare to write the former expression substituting V by U. It is good enough for almost all applications in hydraulics. There are some cases in which we use the first one, as we will see in other videos. Ok, that's enough for today. I think it's a good start, don't you? Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified of my next videos.